Sorry about that, everyone. Everything crashed on me. I don't know why that happened. I don't know why my computer decided to crash the way it did. That was not cool. So, we're just gonna quickly sort all that out. Because that was stupid. Alright, we're just gonna get in content. Better? My game crashed. He's back! He's back! Ugh. I don't know why that happened. My game just... My old computer just decided to freeze on me. I figured that's what happens. No, it's happened in the past. Yeah, it's happened quite recently. But I know why. Why it's happened recently. The thing is, though, I just want time to solve the problem. It's a problem that will technically solve itself if I just get the time to do what I want to do. Ah, I get a what's up greeting. I was, it took me a minute to figure out what that was. <laughs> oh, that was you? Yeah, Saku sent that through my channel, yeah. Alright, so, Eva, alright, I'm, I'm probably then hearing your game then, through um, earphone. Or I'm hearing... Oh. Hmm. There's something we'll have to work on, I guess. Yeah. Alright, where is going again? I mean, did you increase yeah. your audio? Uh, Curtis has commented saying that he can't hear me. He can't hear you on my stream. You can't hear me on your stream. You. Yeah. Yeah, that's something you're going to have to have a look at yourself then. Go to OBS. Alright. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. Oh, that's why. You're yeah. screen sharing Dead by Daylight. That's why I could hear it twice. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll stop, I'll stop looking. And, um... Yeah, go to OBS and look at your earphone. See if it's still selected to your to your earphone, or does or um, do you see me talking through your earphone source? I don't see you talking now. No. All right. So it probably then got altered. So go to properties on your earphones. Ah, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Is it still set to your headset that I'm talking to, talking through? Is it your, your All right. thing that I'm looking through? Pardon? What? What? Is it your, like you that I'm looking at, or is it my mic that I'm looking at? You're looking at your earphones. Because I'm coming through your earphones, right? Yeah. All right, yeah, I'm so, with you now. Um, yeah. It says to default. Change that back to what it was ori originally. Being your dual sense. Alright. I've done that. Alright, so now they should hear me, right? You should see yeah, the bar. Yeah, like it's safe to turn All right. down. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. Problem solved. So, did you unplug it by any chance? No. Your headset. You didn't? No. no. Did no. you unplug your controller? No. Okay, it says you can hear you now. Alright. Did you unplug your controller? I didn't know anything. Alright, uh, so then it automatically did it, and I don't know why. Right. So, we got you now. Yeah. But yeah, guys, these crashing things been happening recently. Can you ready up now, please? Yes, sorry. Right. This crashing thing's been happening recently with my computer. The problem is, um, yeah, the problem can be solved. The only other issue is... A lot of people want my attention, meaning I can't take care of the things I want to do on my computer that would stop the crashing thing. So it's um it's a case of meet demand sort of yeah. thing. 
I want time for myself, and people aren't giving me time to myself. <laughs> you see the problem here? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, so I'm sorry about the um, um, problems with the RDR. My, there's going to be a learning curve until I get it right. We, we all knew that. We, yeah. we all did. That's why Curtis is pro. Well, okay. Zaku's in the chat. Helping out as well. Yeah, thank you, Zaku. <sighs> Which means he can piss you off rather than me. <laughs> That's fine, it makes for good content. Oh, great. We're going to the Resident Evil map. Ooh, Zaka will be happy about that. Mm. I actually showed my boss my new short, and he found that very interesting, because he's a huge fan of Stranger Things. Yes. So I mean, had no... when it first came... Sorry. So he had no idea that anime inspired Stranger Things the way it did. Yeah, it is surprising. I mean... When it comes to Stranger Things, when it first came out, I thought it like was a kid show. I didn't know anything about it. I thought it was a the whole time. I thought it was a kid show, so I never bothered with it. And it's <laughs> only like recently I found out it was like a horror thing. Uh, do you now kick yourself over it? <laughs> oh, something happened with the mic there. Hello. Hello? There we go. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, but something happened with your audio, you like decided to cut out. Oh, oh Michael Myers! Whee! My boy! Your boy just whisked you away! That's what I wanted to do. Oh. I'm so happy. Run! Run! Why are you in the doorway? Why were you in the doorway? Good evening, I'm Michael Myers. I have enormous psychological problems and I'm going to take them out on you. Well, yeah, I've got psychological problems now. That bitch was in the doorway for no reason. Uh oh. Drop the pallets! Oh, for God's sake. Are you sure that bitch? No, the other bitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, were you the one standing in the doorway when I was trying to run? Oh. Then it was the other bitch! <laughs> and I just realized I don't have TTV in my name. So if we get any people, they're all going to you. That's okay, if anyone comes in, we can send them over to you. Nah, nah. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll just... Know. I'll just have TTV later when I die. Okay. I don't know where to go right now, I don't know where to go. Did I hear... Did I hear Zaku do that to you? Yeah, it's very quiet there. <laughs> Well, yeah, because of your desktop audio. <laughs> we might have to see if we can like put OBS to um see if like, like, there's a way oh. to like knock down my uh knock down get my daylight's volume. Um and keep, so you can like keep it loud. And hear yeah. uh, OBS's. Yeah. By the way, Kat, is it you say that? You say how we were just standing there. Please rethink what you just and said. And did you see that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just standing there very ominously. How did you not see me? He's gonna come up from from below. Shit! No! 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 I told you! I mean, 
Yes, but no. Michael, I love you, but please let me live a bit, a bit more. Might be a TTV hater. Oh, he's got a hex active. Yeah. Not ruined. I don't know if I can hear the reading I can hear the thing going on. But where is he? Iron Zaku asked me, oh, what's your God, thoughts on the childhood time. banger Digimon, oh. the movie, oh, oh, Digimon, the movie, absolutely yeah. tremendous. tremendous, folks, just, just tremendous. tremendous, a real a classic, classic, believe me, the animation so huge, so great, and the story, Big League, you know, it had everything, action, adventure, and those Digimon, yeah. totally amazing creatures, folks. Everybody loved it. So many fans, just like my rallies, huge crowds, and let me tell you the nostalgia, it's huge. It's huge. It's huge. Trump, first of all, the fan base for Digimon is way bigger than your rallies. So I'll dare you. What is happening over there? Trump, uh... Zaku asked uh, Trump what he thought about the Digimon movie. And he was, <laughs> which I agree, Digimon the movie is a classic. It is a great movie, definitely top notch. Especially since the Digimon movie was like a combination oh, my God. Sorry. movie. It was like a combination of three Digimon movies put together. Unlike Pokemon, which was just like a long one, Digimon has like short movies. So they cobbled three together to compete with the Pokemon movie. And they, I don't think they did a good job oh, combining Michael. the three movies. I swear to God, Michael is following me on purpose. Yeah, because you're probably a like TV. You should know this by now that TTVs have like, always got a target on their back. Yeah, Digimon the movie oh, no, really. Oh, me, Digimon the movie, yep, yeah, definitely a great movie. Can I come out? Thank you. Yeah, the, the first, the free movie. Oh wait! Iron Zaku asked me, "Do you think the Deadpool movies are more funnier than that awful She-Hulk show?" Oh, Iron Zaku, you want to talk about Deadpool and She-Hulk? Huh, buckle up, Deadpool is like a wild, untamed beast with jokes flying at you like shurikens made of pure chaos. Baby, Ryan Reynolds nailed it. It's wildly entertaining. She-Hulk, man, it's like a fever dream wrapped in a legal drama, wrapped in CGI madness. But hey, different strokes for different folks, right? One man's trash is another's treasure or nightmare. I don't know who you, who asked that question, but that guy definitely nailed it. Oh, for God's sake! Who did you ask? Nick Cage. You asked Nick Cage if De the Deadpool trilogy was better than She-Hulk. Seriously? Nick Cage. Yeah. Well, yeah, the Deadpool movies are really top-notch comedy. I mean, it's so good. You've got Swiss Boots here into Marvel. Move! 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 Oh. Yeah, Deadpool's are definitely good. I haven't fully watched She-Hulk yet. I've seen the twerking scene. I 
found it more comical than cringe. Don't know why. Just do. More, it's just a comical like, why is this here? How did this happen? Maybe if I watched the She-Hulk entirely, I would get answers. But for now, it's just like a case of, how did this happen? The fact that there's like a, a discussion, oh, that's quite evil. The fact that there's a discussion on like if the Deadpool dancing or oh, the Shayhill dancing, like which one's better, is just laughable. There's only one right answer. Deadpool. Yes. I mean, you've only. I have the sound alert. I mean, to be fair, you got to realize us Marvel fans. We're proud of the MCU movies because they're the, but they're the first hero movies that did it right. Yeah. And it's, we did it right as well by doing like a whole cinematic universe that's never really been done before. I think that's what you do now. I'm really oh my god. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that really made me jump. Jesus. And I'm dead now. I feel like Michael really had it in for me. Yeah, probably because he, because he had TTV in the name. That's always oh, usually. It doesn't matter. I, I got away. Because that's always usually the case, because TTV, you always got to remember, it puts a target on your back. I know. I know it does. Michael, leave me alone. Can't find the other hex. I think what kind of annoys me at the moment with the MCU is that you have to watch TV series to understand some of the movies and characters that are linked to the TV series. Iron Zaku asked me, oh, how bad do you think the Marvels was? Oh, honey, if you thought the Marvels was a masterpiece, I have a bridge to sell you. It's like a buffet of half-baked ideas served lukewarm and with a side of, why are we even here? The writing a mess. The CGI more like, see you later, G. And let's not even get started on character development there. Less of that than in my ex's diary. It's like they threw a bunch of superheroes in a blender without a lid. Good luck cleaning up that disaster. Which movie did you ask Joe Biden about? Wait, was that Joe Biden? Oh no, it was Dr. Phil. Um, asked, how bad do you think the Marvels was? The Marvels was that crossover movie between Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel, and that girl that got introduced in Wonder Vision. I haven't seen it myself, mainly because I know I'm going to watch the Miss Marvel TV series to find out more about this character. But which goes back to the whole bad thing I have about AMC at the moment, and that's the introduction to the TV series. Now, during the beginning of Phase 2, they did a TV, tie TV series, being, um, being Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, for God's sake! See what I mean? He's a... Now, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. MCU. Now, don't get me wrong. Phase 2 of the MCU, they did Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but that wasn't like... Like, um... It had to be watched because it had nothing to do like the movies. It was like its own tying thing. Yes, um, 
it tied into the movies, but it wasn't like pivotal to the plot. It like it was like a series that answered a lot of missing questions. But um, when it came to and like same for the ne Netflix ones when they did, they were their own separate thing, and I like that. They were like separate thing of like dealers heroes that people knew that they were going to get a movie on. But then Disney Plus decided to make uh, decided to do them. And while I do like them at first, it got it ended up getting a bit much. Wanda Vision, all right, yeah, makes sense. We got a story for Wanda. Loki, okay, we we know what happened. Uh, what was next? Falcon Winter Soldier. I thought that was a nice one, but then it's starting to get a bit much, and I just couldn't keep up. Oh God! Which uh, was the problem for Marvel Phase 4, was that they did quantity of equality. They eventually learned that, I think, but I'm still suffering from from it. But they still did too much, and because of it, I've backtracked so much. I'm hoping um, going through MCU with Swiss Boots will solve that. Eventually I'll be caught up with everything again. But for now, if a movie comes up and I know it's tied into a TV series, I'm ignoring it until I can eventually catch up. Like, we got the thunder. Oh. Yeah, you first. Yeah. Like, the upcoming Thunderbolts movie, I know I need to watch Hawkeye for that, and I haven't. Why is he down the nut? Run, run! I don't know if anyone saw what happened before, but me and Michael just went on a bit of a walk together. Probably went to find me. I probably said something in the stream and it was like... No. Why? I can get this gem done. That would be good. Ah, don't miss my skill checks. Don't miss the skill checks. It's been a while since I've played this game. So I oh, for God! You didn't. You didn't keep your eye out for Michael. You didn't. I know. I don't fall. There's a hook right there, bro. Uh, don't crash it, just keep moving. <laughs> oh, dude. Run! Run! Move! Why were you standing there staring at him? He's not going to give you a snog! Now run to the gen and do it! Run! 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 Now you know where he is. So keep your eye out in that direction. Run! Run! Alright, back to the gem, back to the gem. 
know where he is, so make sure your camera is pointed in that direction. Bit more to the left, because there's two doors, remember? Alright, I suggest you get running now. Running now, he's dead. Run, run! Keep to the ground floor, because the hatch. Oh, he's giving you the hatch. My guy. Uh, see, Michael, that's why you're my favorite. What kind of simp? Michael's a simp confirmed. Michael's a simp. Can we get a whole barrage of Michael is a simp and Swift Spooks, chat now, please. See, Swift Spooks gone quiet because she knows it's true. Hello? go to her um Iron Zaku asked me, time to be honest. Which era of Godzilla was the best? Oh, let me tell you, folks, the best era of Godzilla, without a doubt, has to be the Showa era. We're talking about the classics, folks, from 1954 to 1975. Tremendous stuff, believe me. Those movies had charm, they had heart, and Godzilla was like a nuclear-powered force of nature, unstoppable, just like my rallies. So many great battles, so much nostalgia. It's huge. What? <laughs> Trump, Trump always seems to make it about himself somehow. He, he, he just always does. I don't know how. But he always does. Discord problems, guys. Either our connection is gone, or um, something's gone a bit wrong. Uh, she's a rookie. Guys, uh, she's a rookie. So, we have to be patient with her. See what happens if I just leave and go back. Will that fix the problem? I think.
think it would help though if she stopped the screen share. Okay, unless she's actually hear me. She needs to check her import and outport again. They've probably been set to default automatically. They haven't. There we go. We hear you now. Oh, good. It had um, it was the same. It hadn't um, gone back to default, so I don't know what happened there. So it it just disappeared for no reason. Yeah. Yeah, because I couldn't hear you either until like a few seconds ago. It could have been because uh, you kept the screen share on, for all we know. Mm. And it prioritised one or the other. Sorry about that, guys. She's learning, guys! She's learning! <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can all remember having our first PC and not knowing what the hell we were doing. So, <laughs> I think I think we can all relate in some shape or form. I mean, yeah. she's got a gaming <laughs> PC and is starting in the deep end of the pool with learning how to stream. Yeah. So, I think we can cut her some slack. That would be nice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure your chat can agree with me, hopefully. If you've got a chat, I can't see your chat. Yeah, it's probably a good thing you can't because the kill, the previous kill that we had, he's put a Michael emoticon in my chat, and it's uh, it's I don't know how to describe it, but it's interesting. It's a, uh, I can always look back at your stream later and see it for myself. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what? I'm gonna head over to your stream now and see it for myself, because I can. <laughs> <laughs> Get you another ad. What? Yep. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I have a few choice words. Go on. Starting with, that's not how you do the helicopter. <laughs> For God's sake, man. <laughs> as, the guys, as the guys would say, that's a murderous helicopter right there. Why am I starting near the killer? Okay, stop laughing. Game face on. Huntress. Why did I start near the Huntress? This is stupid! I couldn't start any closer if I tried! If I was any closer to her, I'd be inside her! This is stupid! Did you have to word it like that? Yes! Because <laughs> it literally describes the situation. I couldn't describe it any better if I tried. <laughs> What's with you and helicopters, Well, Am I the only one who saw the emoticon in Swift Spook's chat? I can't have been the only one who saw that and went, that is what that position is called. And I can't think of any snappier lines related to it. I was... Okay. Yeah. I was definitely not expecting you to see that today. <laughs> Compared to what? This is the internet! We're streaming to the internet! There's everything on the internet! From what people don't want to see, to peop what people want to see! And it's usually what people don't want to see! Okay. I'm speaking from experience. as a connoisseur of the internet. How did I lose her? She's 
still chasing after me. I'm gonna go for the passing somehow. Huh? I'm already, I'm close enough. Iron Zaku asked me, which Pandora would be a better planet to visit avatars or borderlands? Holy smokes! Iron Zaku, you're hitting me with the big ones here! Picture this! Avatars, Pandora, it's like stepping into a fever dream of bioluminescent jungles and floating mountains. You'd be dodging arrow wielding Navi like some kind of intergalactic tourist. Then there's Borderlands Pandora, where every step you take could end in an explosion. A wild ride of bandit psychos and loot galore. Both are insane adventures, but it depends. Do you want to commune with nature or blow it to smithereens? Well, there's your answer, Zaku. Now you know which Pandora to forget. And is it just me? I, I just realized. Has this map changed? I think uh, it has. I don't know. Yeah, it's changed. It's a different layout. Is it? Yeah, it's a completely different one. Oh, I didn't realize. Hmm. Well, to be fair, when was the last time you played Dead by Daylight? A while. It's been 84 years, guys. She asked me by daylight. And during those 84 years, the years have not been kind. I think it's mine's been 84 years since I last streamed. It's been 84 internet years. <laughs> hopefully, with my new set up, we can get a little more visual. And hopefully, we'll be able to start our team. Technical difficulties. There we go. It's not really technical difficulties, it's like just stuff you're gonna have to learn to do. Yeah. Not to mention as well, you need to have sort of like other sounds for other games. Like Phasmophobia, you wanna jo you finally can join me in Zaku for Phasmophobia. Uh Fall Guys. You wanna sort of Fall Guys? That was another game you should yeah. And any other games you want to come across and you feel like you want to play. Hey, for all I know, you want to play Power Wash Simulator in the future. One that was... There is some games on my list, but that isn't one of them. Do you even know what Power Wash Simulator is? Iron Zaku asked me for one of our friends here. Which Taylor Swift song is your favorite? Oh, you. Oh, Taylor Swift, she's a real talent, folks, no doubt about it. Tremendous. If I had to pick a favorite, it would be Shake It Off. It's got that energy, that spirit, and it's all about brushing off the haters, just like I do all the time. Huge hit, massive success. Just like my rally. And let me tell you folks, there's a lot of shaking off to do these days. I'm playing to the point here, but, but you do realize it's Donald Trump. He's going to compare it to his rallies. And compare it shaking it off to your rallies. Yeah, I kind of have to agree. Everyone needs to shake off your fucking rallies. I'm the trigger swifty right now, okay? And I'm a guy who just memes on everything. Big whoop. I'm, ah. I'm wearing my I'm wearing my Tulsa cardigan right now. It's I'm I'm really warm. Not that anyone can see, because we haven't even saw out your next big surprise in the stream yet. I know. Ah! The word Swift in my new name comes from Taylor Swift. So. Yeah, but a lot of people could probably look at that and go, oh, she means Swift as in speed. She's a fast, spooky person. <laughs> I'm just a Swifty Spooky. Swifty Spooky. So I did originally want my name to be Spooky Swifty, but that was already taken. So I just. I just worked around it. Ah! Hit yourself!
need you on your own. It's even funnier when you know the reference. Oh, for God's sake, she's after me again. The only, re the only reference I can think of that is Tell Us Which has a song called You're on Your Own, You're on your own Kid. That's like one no. of my favorite songs. Well, clearly it's not that. <laughs> You're living in a oh, fantasy my... world, well, didn't you think I'm actually referencing that? I live in my fantasy world. Yes. Iron Zaku asked me, for oh. fun, what anime oh. world do you think would be the best to be Isekade to? Isekade? Oh, darling, that's like asking if you'd prefer a soft pillow or a brick wall to land on. I mean, sure, being Isekade to a world of magic and warriors might sound appealing, but let's be honest, half the time it's chaos. You could end up in one of those cute slice of life animes, sipping tea and chatting, or you could find yourself battling monsters every five minutes like it's a part time job. So buckle up because wherever you land, it's going to be a wild ride. I don't know about that. I've been getting icicate in, um, Dr. <laughs> oh, why, Dr. Phil? It's, it's Isekai, not Isekate. I mean, yes, these guy worlds, they don't tend to be full of um, amazing things. As Konosuba, after all, you have to deal with the Devil King and women that make you question your sanity. Not that the men are any fun as well. You've got um, Overlord, so you're literally dealing with um, undead beings that could literally be gods. You could go to the world of Tanya and be in a magic filled World War II scenario. You could go to Re Zero and be eaten alive by a load of bunnies. Yeah, I'm not kidding about that. But there's always one Isekai world. I know if I got Isekai 2, I'm gonna have the time in my life. And, and that's one of my favorite animes. It's the anime world of Trapped in a Dating Sim. The world of Atomic Games is tough for mobs. And there's a reason why. And there's a reason why it's one of my favorite anime slash favorite isekais. It's just so funny. Hey, go. If I was to be transported to an anime, it would definitely have to be Pokemon. I would love that. <laughs> Pokemon's are not an easy guy, unfortunately. But yeah, you can go to an anime world. Pokemon world. A Pokemon world, I'm pretty sure will be on top of like a lot of people's lists. Really, I yeah. wouldn't be surprised. I mean, that's I what... I mean, I that's what... <laughs> I mean, that's why the um, like, Pokemon VR will... VR games are like a lot of people's favorites. Why well, Scarlet and Violet was so loved despite the, the glitches it had at the time because it was an open world sort of thing. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I could, I could have it that easy. Considering how rare it is, that's going to take you years. I would like you. Iron Zaku asked me, is darkness from the anime Konosuba too crazy for you, Joker? Oh, Iron Zaku, you think darkness is too crazy for me? Ha ha ha! That's a laugh. That masochistic night is like a walk in the park compared to the Arkham Asylum's finest. I mean, who doesn't wow. love a little self-inflicted chaos? Now and then, she's got guts, I'll give her that. But let's be real, even her wildest fantasies couldn't match a day in my life. You serious, Aku? I have to disappoint you. You and Harpoor make simple darkness. Like a heavy glass of water. <laughs> you, but, no. Even the Joker realizes that darkness is not a woman you should really be going towards. Now, oh, 
Now let's think of this logically. Let's look at Darkness. And let's compare her to the Joker's partner, Harley Quinn. While Harley Quinn was under the thumb of the Joker for a long time, she eventually got on her own and became quite a popular woman. Darkness literally wants a bum for a husband who will treat her like shit. And she will get off on that. <laughs> no! I, don't know what's I really don't know what's happening tonight. <laughs> I am answering questions that Zaku is giving me that is also asking AI celebrities. What do you think? <laughs> like, of course, I can't hear it very well while you're in my ear. So, that's why I told you to be quiet so I can hear it and see what of the thing is. Because I can only see so much text in the chat. I'm sorry, I was too busy talking about Pokemon. Ugh. I will never understand why you two sit for darkness so hard. Why <laughs> would you want a girl who gets off on you attacking her? I mean, she was just really enjoying getting pelted by cabbages. By sentient cabbages! I'm gonna stay out of this one, I think. Yeah, because you still need to finish season two. Yes, I know. And three. And the movie. And the prequel. <laughs> I mean, between that and all the Marvel movies you want me to watch, I just, I can't. Well, we can! The Marvel movies is when when you're here. Konosuba can just be overnight. It can be done. You just keep thinking it doesn't. When it can! Oh my god! Why am I close to the killer again? I mean, there's still a horror movie that I want. I want to make you watch. Yeah, but that's different. Okay, I'm here with you in the face. Never to die. I don't see who the killer no, I don't. Oh. oh. There we go! Is that Oni? Oni. I haven't seen Oni in a while. Oh, Yeah. I stunned him twice! Uh oh. Oh no. Come on. Jen. Come on, finish come on. Jen. Finish it to Jen. Finish it to Jen. No, it's not worth it. How was ah, I supposed to know I... you were there? It's fine. He was going to get sick of me eventually. Because I kept sending him Oh shit. Blocked off. Yeah. No, not corrupt invention. Um, I forgot what it's called, but it's not that. Yeah. Corrupt invention is when um, they block off the pallets at the beginning for a limited time. Oh. Dead man switch. Iron Zaku asked me, Do you think Monokuma from Danganronpa is just as mad as you? Or worse, Joker? Oh, Monokuma, that cuddly little ball of chaos. Ha ha ha! That bear is like looking in a funhouse mirror distorted yet reflecting some of my own brand of madness. He's got the whole psychotic mastermind shtick down. But let's not kid ourselves. Iron Zaku, he's more like an appetizer of insanity, whereas I'm the full twisted buffet. But I'll give him one thing his sense of showmanship impeccable. So, 
Joker thinks Monokuma does a good job in bringing despair. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, of course uh, Joker would think Monokuma does a good job because Monokuma and Joker are both psychos! Go boom! <laughs> There's that. <laughs> Still in the area. Oh, he's left. Everyone else is far away. This is where I probably will die. I'm sorry, I'm being sick. Oh, it can rage again. Iron Zaku asked me which fate is worse playing Jigsaw's games from Saw or the Despair game from Danganronpa. Ah, uh, Iron Zaku, that's a fascinating comparison. Playing Jigsaw's games from Saw is a twisted test of survival where the stakes are life and death and you're forced to confront your own morality in the most gruesome ways. On the other hand, the Despair game from Danganronpa involves psychological warfare, betrayal and the constant threat of death in a high-stakes murder mystery. Both are horrifying in their own right, but the emotional torment of Danganronpa may leave deeper scars than Jigsaw's physical traps. Ultimately, it's a battle of survival versus psychological breakdown. What a delightful nightmare. Yeah, both are actually pretty bad. Jigsaw's games, it's life or death. So if you fail, you die. If you succeed, you win, yeah. But the beauty when it comes to Hope Speak Academy's uh, despair games is the psychological trauma that can come from it. Because of the fact that they're both life or death games, it, it honestly depends upon what's this, which will leave the most scarring. And while yes, you survived a death game in Saw, but when it comes to Danganronpa, it's not just one death game to play, it's multiple, back to back. With the, the fear of, is the people around you going to kill each other? And if so, who? So, yeah. Oh, think of how Academy is worse than Jigsaw. I mean, with, with saw, with traps, most of the time you, you can't get out of them. Um, so it's not Space Academy, you have like trap there. But with the, the saw traps, but with the saw traps, you, most of the time you do have a way to survive it. With the whole thing Academy, you just gotta be smart and figure out who the killer is. If you're not smart yeah. enough, you're dead. It's supposed to take this pallet! <laughs> Come on! 
one only. We'll do this for the third time. You ready? Ready? Uh, take the pallet. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, Oni, let's do this right this time. You come with me, over here. <laughs> Fuck, I missed the pallet! Oh. I overshot! The pallet was there! I overshot, I went too far! Oh no! I'm tired from work. Of course I'm not gonna have the energy to remember. Yeah, keep checking around me while my bar feels only. Thanks. Oh, it was the locker, not the pod. <laughs> Come on, medkit, 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 Come on, medkit, 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 It was close, it could have been one or the other. Why did I scream? I shout <laughs> and let it all out. say we have one more game okay one more and then we'll call that the streams because i think for the test yeah. one we did well yeah and then i'm gonna press Iron Zaku asked me, for a laugh, could Steven from Steven Universe change Monokuma from Danganronpa for the better? Holy smokes, Iron Zaku, that's a mashup for the ages. Imagine Steven with his boundless optimism and heart trying to reach Monokuma, the twisted bear of despair. Steven would throw every ounce of his gem-powered compassion at Monokuma, but we're talking about a bear who thrives on chaos. 
Could he change him? Maybe a glimmer, a spark. But Monokuma's dark soul, that's a whole different universe, man. All right. So now that we've had his point of view, let's actually break this down. Steven from Steven Universe versus Monokuma from Danganronpa. Let's have a first look at Monokuma. We, we, we will put my Dunga Rumble here, so we all know Monokuma is actually Junko Unoshima. So anything related to her, we can put towards Monokuma. And she thrives off chaos, despair. She. Oh my god, they both do some horrible things. That you will eventually learn when you finish Danganronpa 2 and then we watch Danganronpa 2 the anime but yeah there is no purifying that even when her plans went to shit she was happy about it she welcomed death with open arms they gave her an out and she was not having it so I don't think Steven Universe would even help Monokuma or Junko see the light. I think Steven, that would be a waste of time for Steven. The closest he's even gotten was against that crystal gem during the final season. The one with the gem for the nose. All she wanted was conflict. She got it. But then her gem got shattered. Yeah, she got put back together. And then became loyal. But that was not stopping her. That was proving loyalty. That didn't change her mind. She still seeks conflict. I don't think Steven would even come close. And besides, Steven's powers only really affect other gems. And as well manifest weapons. It's not going to do well against Junko. He's not going to be able to purify her. She's not a crystal gem. And I honestly bet, if Junko saw the world of Steven Universe, she would honestly wish she would throw up rainbows in disgust. So who's the killer? Oh boy. Looking have fun from the Nick Cage. Thank you, Nick Cage. Look what do you do? Nick Cage? <laughs> oh, the Nick Cage in the cage. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like, wait, Jim Cage. The cage is in the is in the chat. And I was like, oh wait, no, it's the <laughs> it's the person like, in the game. I think I've got a friend who had uh, Rebecca Black followed her, followed him on um, Twitter once. Hey, no way. Yeah. Well, do you mind, this is the Rebecca that sang, It's Friday, Friday, gotta yeah, get down. It's a bit that I actually like the song. I, mean, I, think, I think a lot of people's hate from it's just because she's a disability darkness. I think that's why a lot of hate comes from. Oh shoot. I mean, Drop the pallet! The most, most celebrity interaction I've had is the actor who plays Connor from Chuck from Human has noticed me quite a lot on Twitter. Um, my favorite, my favorite YouTuber, Dad's Game, she's not, she's not, she's not. Iron Zaku asked me, Could the Scooby Doo gang solve the Kira case from Death Note? Could Scooby Doo solve the Alright, Iron Zaku, let's dive into this wild so. ride. Imagine Scooby and the gang stumbling Kira. into the dark, twisted world of Death Note. 
Velma would be piecing together clues with her intense brain power. Fred would be setting up traps for Kira, Daphne being the bait, and Shaggy and Scooby. Well, they'd be running from Shinigami, man. Could they solve it? Maybe if they can keep their cool Kira's cunning, but never underestimate the power of meddling kids. I honestly have to disagree. I don't think the Scooby-Doo gang would solve the Kira case. I don't think so. I don't. Let's break this down. Starting with Daphne. She is the bait. I'm pretty sure everyone can see that. She is the bait of the group. Her, go her job there is just to be captured. Honestly, every incarnation has always been their case. Minus Mystery Incorporated Daphne. Where they gave her a bit more backbone. Or maybe the movies where um, she got she used her feminine powers to get out, like using makeup and all that. But if she was the fate, she would die. So that's all right. So them keeping her cool is not going to happen. As soon as they try to use that, as soon as Daphne gets captured, she's instant dead. Shaggy and Scooby. They'll be scared because their friends died and they'll try and run away. Fred will probably want revenge and try and chat, chat Kira. The only problem is, since their names are out there in public as the uh, Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, as soon as Kira finds that out, yep, you're dead. The whole gang's dead. As soon as he learns, oh, we're getting, this, we're getting, Scoop, we're getting these meddling kids in, he'll just go, many kids? Google all them! Write their names in the death note. Dead. I think these AIs are not realizing that Kira has the power of Google. I'm coming, I'm coming. Just in time. Well, I could ask another question for someone who could solve the Kira case, though. Alright, go ahead. Who do you think has a chance to solve the Kira case? I'll probably debunk it. There are a lot of smart people out there. So, it'll be interesting to see if you're going to actually find a character that could probably solve the Kira case. But then again, I know one okay. anime character who who has a higher IQ than Light Yagami, aka Kira. Byron Zaku asked me, can okay. Batman solve the can Kira Batman case so from Death Note? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Picture this Batman, the world's greatest detective squaring off against Kira, the god of the new world. Batman's got the tech, the brains, the brutal interrogations in dark alleys. He'd piece together the clues, track down the Death Note, and face off against Light Yagami with the cold, hard justice of Gotham. It'd be a battle of intellect shadows and sheer willpower. Kira wouldn't stand a chance, man. Okay. I think Batman does have a chance, but it'll be a slim chance. Batman is a smart cookie. I think he would rip, he'll like somehow put the pieces together that Kira's been using the news to to figure out um, that he began the names of the killer through the news. 
I think it's possible. But I don't think he would get closer than L did, possibly, maybe. I think he would figure out the whole two Kira situation that happens at the beginning. Uh, but I can't remember how L figured out it was light that was Kira. I think it was like guesswork at the end of it and eventually put the pieces together. I think Batman will be much more logical than that. Probably figuring out Kira's psychological derange before um, Light and before L did. I think what would trip him up was um, Kira's plan to disown the Death Note to hide his memories. I think that will definitely... I don't think Batman would probably believe that. He doesn't really... I don't... I can't remember if he came from a memory loss situation. Well, that far I know of. So I don't know how well he would believe it. Or he would believe it and then try and make sure the Death Note goes nowhere near light. Just in case. To, like, try and get rid of Kira completely. I think that's how it would turn out. But I'll definitely need more data. Like, as, a, as Batman ever came across, like, an immediate villain. There are those that Batman have overcome that have higher power in DC Comics. But when it comes to uh, Light, aka Killer, it's not a matter of higher power, it's more of a matter of intelligence. Who is smart enough with their powers and assets? Especially because, as I point out, like can give up the death note and have the strategy to get it back, turning him back into Kila. And of course, there's the Shimigami. Can he use the Shimigami since no one can use them? And of course, there's his girlfriend who has the Shimigami eyes. How would she? How would he use her? So for Batman, it'll be a case of. How would he use his technology and intelligence to uncover Kira and one-up him? Well, at the same, same point, he does match Superman's IQ, so... I would say Superman's dumber than Batman. Sure, if I know. Oh, for God's sake! But then again, I don't really watch DC stuff. I don't really read DC stuff, so I don't really know about these kind of characters. I'm just going off like general knowledge of the characters. Of what could be like technical turning points of one of the losing. The last one yeah, yeah. It was just that zombie. Yeah. Zombies and monsters. Well, Toad almost had it. Yeah, we came across. We came across. GG. For me, he won't. He won't. He would solve it, but he won't kill Light. I don't think L had the intention to kill Light. I mean, to be fair, Light died because of the Shimigami. 
So, I think it'll be a case of you get caught and then it will die because of you. And Batman will probably assume it's probably part of their contract. Maybe. Alright, so we're gonna call the stream there. Yeah, we'll call it there. Did you feel good with that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm alright with that. So, uh, thanks, thanks everyone for being here again. I know it's been a long, long, long time since I last streamed, and hopefully with the new setup and everything, we can make it more of a regular thing because I really want to. It's been fun streaming again, and thank you all for bearing with me and sticking with me. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. As for my viewers, um, as I said before, a lot's been happening, so I haven't had a lot of me time, hence the uh, not streaming part. But I am planning to eventually fix that conundrum. It's just going to take time. Uh, so, whenever I stream, we'll probably like team up with these guys. Uh, well, of course, Swiss Books now, aka Regal Chanel, and Iron Zaku, whenever he really ever streams. Oh, maybe Half Horn as well, since he's trying to stream more often. So, it be a case of, we'll see what happens, and as soon as my stuff eases up, then I'll go back to streaming how I like used to. So until then guys, you're just going to have to bear with it, and enjoy what I do on YouTube. <laughs> Since a lot of that's like pre-made, and it doesn't really take long for me to make shorts. So, we're going to wrap up there, thank you everyone who, well thank you Iron Zarkin for being the only person in the chat, and try to get, uh, try and make me confuse as hell. <laughs> so until next time guys. This is us, sign out. Bye-bye.